I cannot wait to see this. Really can't. Orlando Montero is soaking wet. He has been running sprints up and down this arena to get ready for war. Whereas Mikey Musumeci arrived as a surprise. He didn't even, he actually didn't tell anybody he was gonna compete. He, he originally announced that he wasn't gonna come. And then all of a sudden, we found him backstage with his gi on. And we're like, wait, Mikey Musumeci is here? What's going on? Best news in Pan Ams, right? Best news of Pan Ams. Yeah, so I, I wanna see if that theory that I told you before will, will persist in this match, which is uh, the bigger opponent going light on the lighter opponent just to be nice to him. I, I, uh, I think that uh, Orlando, Orlando Montero, he's, he doesn't look like he wants to be friends now. Right, 100%. I think that he's coming for the kill, and uh, hopefully we're going to see some spectacle from, uh, from Mikey Musumeci. Well, I mean, he showed us at the Europeans that he can he fight against the big guys. He did. Right? He definitely did. And he answered uh, the doubts because everybody was like, man, this guy, he's a rooster and light featherweight world champion. Why is he fighting the heavyweights? Why is he fighting absolute? He wants challenges. And I think that uh, Caio, Terra, Caio Terra stimulates this on him, instilled that on him, and it worked. And he knows that he can deal with it. I've rolled with, uh, with Mikey a couple of times oh, really? in the top team in, for, in, in Miami. And I know what he's capable of, but I won't forget that he's a light featherweight. All you know? right. I won't forget that. I, I, I know that he's a, a light featherweight, but that doesn't mean he can't do good with you. What I'm saying is, and I have nothing against Mikey. Actually, I like him. It's impossible not to like Mikey, right? Oh, he's one of he's the best. He's one of the nicest yeah. kids yeah, uh, yeah. around. And he speaks good Portuguese, which is yeah. amazing. Uh, he likes his pasta. But it, he's so polite. So funny. He's yeah. so polite. He's so, like, great guy. But, but I, I think that... Uh, most of the big guys, like Muhammad Ali, when he fought him uh, at Euros. They were too nice? It, they were too nice. Right. You said this earlier, right? We were, were talking nice. about how, you know, what was it Carlson Gracie said? Uh, he said, when you see a, a middleweight or, or lower weight putting his name in absolute and you face him, smash him in a manner, in a fashion that he will never go back to absolute again. <laughs> yeah. It's a place for the big guys. But this is not absolute. This is heavyweight, which is even worse. I think that uh, if Orlando takes it seriously, he will look at Mikey and think, oh, this small kid is coming here to take, m to take me on my weight class? If it was absolute, I could understand because anyone is entitled to go to the absolute. But, uh, right, right. Uh, not Entering in the heavyweight. Class. Yeah, that's a sign, right? Good, yeah. good. Well, Orlando, like we said, he is uh, he's looking pumped up. He's got the headphones in. He's stalking up and down. Whereas Musumeci just quietly stood there in the corner, just relaxed, you know, Keep very calm. Cool. He looks a little nervous, but that's that's how he always looks before these big matches. You know, you know what happens? I, I, I've seen that happening before. Uh, Mikey's such a great guy, such a such a such a nice kid. That uh, when when the big dudes are gonna fight him, they go there and they talk to him and they and they like they. They hug, and they oh yeah, like we're gonna let's go, and then and then Mikey oh don't smash me too much and this and that, <laughs> and you end up liking Mikey so much that it's tough to go to go for the kill on him. Right. But I don't think that Orlando uh, cares about this. He looks like he's he's going to go for the kill. But yeah, it's Mikey on the other side, so it's not easy to kill Mikey. Absolutely you know? not. It's not easy to kill Mikey. He's so crafty. Mikey has never been submitted as a black belt. He's only lost a handful of times as a black belt. I believe maybe only twice. I don't even remember. Three, times. three times. I can think of three times. He lost uh, in his first world championships. Um, he lost to Isaac Dirtline in the light featherweight division. Right. Yeah. He I lost one year at Pans in something of a controversial match. And of course, he lost to uh, Muhammad Ali this year in the absolute yeah. division. But aside from that, I think that's it. Just need a second referee to get this underway. And when you see these guys, when they step onto the mat, you will really see the size difference. Because Orlando's, you know, he's a solid heavyweight. He Not the is, biggest guy, but he, he's still a solid heavyweight. Yeah, he used to be, uh, I mean, he used to play, uh, to fight uh, um, medium heavy, but he bulked up. 
He's, he, he, spent, he spent some time with us at Fight Sports in Miami. He spent like a good uh, four or five weeks there, three, four weeks, something like that. And we could feel uh, his pressure, his, uh, his craftiness. He, he has a lot of technique. A great from, triangle choke, right? <laughs> Phenomenal damn, triangle choke. That's crazy. His triangles. He, he shoots to the triangle. like, And his passing game is amazing. Really? His passing game is amazing. Well, we'll, from, we'll from get to distance. see him. We'll get to see him test that against Mikey Musumeci because I've only ever seen one person pass Mikey Musumeci's guard ever, and in competition, and that was in the pans in uh, wow. Lucas Pinheiro uh, years ago when Mikey had a terrible weight cut, but still managed to win the match. But that's the only time he's ever had his guard passed at black belt. So let's see how this one goes. Of course, no secret that Mikey wants to be on bottom. Yeah. Two points. Yeah, two points for Orlando Montero. And Orlando looks to be going straight after an ankle here. Um, he's going to give away the back. Oh, yeah, Mikey immediately goes to the back take here. Mm -hmm. Flips the position. Speed. Coming around. On top now. With the back. With the hooks. Got to go back with the hooks in. Four points for Mikey. You can advantage. turn your back on Mikey. Advantage oh, really? only for Mikey Musumeci. Um, Two advantages. I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that. A little but difficult anyways. to maybe recreate the position. Yeah, I don't agree with that. But anyways. So it's 4-2. No, it's 2-0 it's still. And two advantages for Mikey, one advantage for Orlando now. I mean, if Orlando is going to give his back again like that, yeah, it, then he could be in for trouble. But look at that. Go. That's what I was telling you. He passes from a distance, which is the right way to pass uh, Mikey's guard because he, all Mikey wants is to you to, put, to apply pressure on him. He deals so well with pressure. So um, that was the, that's the, the way to go. But yeah, Mikey already took over his legs. Well, Mikey being so small, Mikey being so small, you know, he's able to get into those spaces underneath the big guys. And, you know, a big guy like Orlando leaves a lot of space for somebody as small as Mikey to get in underneath the legs and to scoop them up exactly as he's done here. And now Mikey's going to score an easy two points. I think that uh, it's now that we're going to see... Or, oh, so he went back to, the, to, to playing guard. Because he knows he can go to the back from here, right? He's going to bolo exactly. his way to the back. So two points again. All right. I don't think Mikey worries about giving up those no, two he, points. He, he doesn't because he wants. He doesn't want to outscore Orlando. He wants to show his craft. Right. He wants to get to the back. Even though, and, and he knows that even though Orlando is like 20-0, he can always go to his back. Right. You know, he knows the way to get there. And once he's on the back, a choke can come. And next... It doesn't matter if you're a heavy guy, a light guy, your neck will fade. You'll fade on your neck. <laughs> you know, that's so absolutely true. That's going to happen. But um, I, I, th I think that Mikey knows that if he, if, if he lands inside Orlando's guard, that's when Orlando's going to be strong. Mikey now moving around a little towards the back. You look at this. That's what he wants. This is a bolo on his... Uh -huh. On his other side, he usually goes the other way, but very interesting Achilles lock grip there as well. This is uh, this is a bad position for Orlando. Crab ride. There you go. Oh man, Mikey is such a magician from this position. But, yeah, but Orlando is so much stronger that he can impose his weight, impose his strength. But this is the kind of pass. Uh, see? This oh, is the kind of pass look at this! Orlando settles down into the top position. There you go. Three points for Orlando Montero. That is a big, big moment in this match. Mikey was so close to get in the back, so close, and then Orlando manages to escape the position. Not many people do, no. and settles down into side control. But he was super smart because he, that's what I was telling you. He imposed his weight uh, advantage, and he's still doing that. But the, the thing is that, oh, look at that. So they're trying to invert, but Mikey's so comfortable in that position. But there you go, another pass. Three more points. Should be, or not. Wrist lock, wrist lock from top position there, from side control. Orlando burying his chest into the hand, but oh, no. Man, no three points. Almost gets into the mount here. He is really putting on the pressure now. Yeah. Look at this. 
like you say, he's the not big guy showing the little guy you don't deserve exactly, to be in my, you don't belong exactly. in my weight category. That's exactly what needs to happen. I'm, I'm not saying anything against Mikey. Absolutely but not. If I'm the heavy, I mean, if I'm the heavy guy, that's the way you've got to approach and it. And a light featherweight shows up in my in my in my weight class, and man, you don't belong here, and I'm gonna make sure you understand that. Orlando very close to getting so, there. He goes into the mount he's with the, the grapevines in. That's a seven-point move right there. He's now going to go to 14 to 2. Yeah. Man, this is not the way most people would expect this match to go. Uh, except for myself. <laughs> well, you definitely have the insight. That's why we brought you here to commentate here at the Pans, Victor. <laughs> but seriously, though, this See match... That? He's With, not taking friends. He's not making friends. He's being rough. He's not rough. making friends. He's yeah. being rough. And it's not disrespectful. It's not unsportsmanlike. It's, it's a fight. It's a fight. And exactly. And if you show up in, your, in a different category than yours, that's what you have to take. I mean, it's definitely that old school mentality, like you said, of Carlson Gracie sort of spirit. But uh, Orlando Montero really making a statement here in this match and against you know what? Michael Musumeci. After the buzzer, we're all friends again. Right. Let's grab an acai. Let's talk shit, let's do whatever. But this 10-minute match, yeah. you gotta leave that outside. And then, now, the, the heavy guy, there, there he go. gets the finish, arm triangle go. choke for Orlando Montero. What a performance here at the 2020 Pans. My word. This is, this is a heavyweight telling a light featherweight, hey, you don't belong here. Go but hey, look at the sportsmanship. Amazing. Mikey, no, Mikey's amazing, huge Mikey's smile amazing. on his face going up to Orlando. And like you say, the moment that that match is over, it's all smiles, it's all respect, great sportsmanship. That's what we love to see. But He's amazing. what an amazing match. Yeah. And I think, you know, maybe after Mikey's performance in the absolute division at Euros, and what he did against guys like uh, Saif Humaini, the, the giant 400-pound French Moroccan black belt, or against Muhammad Ali losing, you know, by a small advantage to, to Muhammad Ali. Yeah. Paul mm. Montero's like, no, guys, no, this is how a big guy today. beats a small guy. Yeah, exactly, and and that's and that's how you do it. That's how you show who belongs to where. This is this is uh, Orlando's uh, 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 realm. And he made sure that Mikey understood that. Not only he beat Mikey, but he beat Mikey in such a fashion that you can't you can't ignore it. It's such such a statement. It's such a statement. And um, amazing. But Mikey, but Mikey turn of events. Mikey's, Mikey is. Uh, and 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 not only that, like Orlando went to Mikey now and 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 told him, hey, sorry for the uh, wrist lock or whatever. Really? And, 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 and Mikey said, no, you're good, man, you're good. There it goes, the how, understanding yeah, is clear. That's, that's it's, 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 all, it's all part of the game. That's yeah. what it's supposed to be. Amazing, really that's phenomenal. Wow, what a match, what a match. Yeah, but I would love to see Mikey back in his weight category again. I agree. So that we can see three, four matches from Mikey instead of just one. So hopefully he understands that he belongs to the light feather or Here's feather, the replay where he actually manages to uh, to get that top position and goes into the mount. And of course, that's where he was able to get the arm triangle choke from and really crush with that kind of pressure. Hinato